Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, Minotaur Hotel. Everyone's been telling me to play this, and the um, it won the poll for for new game to play on channel. So I'm excited. We'll just hit new game. Turn on safe for work mode. This will censor nudity and skip sex scenes. See, my problem is that I don't want to skip scenes, so I guess I'll just have to do what I'm doing in Smoke Room and censor it myself. That's a little annoying, but I feel like that's best to have like as much content from the game itself as possible. So... <clears throat> Across the sea you shall find the island of Cree. Is it Crete? Yeah, Crete. Oh man, I've already forgotten. Like, I used to kind of like half study Greek mythology. I had a teacher in high school that was super into it, so he would like kind of we would chat about it. And then after that, you know, no one to, that teacher was kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> he was kind of a boomer, but like. In, in not a bad way, uh, from which the uh, Titan Minos, uh, Minos, uh, demanded tribute for, in <laughs> demanded tribute in the form of Athen Athens' uh, finest youth. Upon the arrival, they were sent to the foul location uh, erected by Dan Daedalus, uh, the great artist. <laughs> Look, I remember that word, Ian. Fucking asking me how to pronounce this word in the middle of the stream. Oh my god, I love you. Uh, <laughs> it was a labyrinth in which uh, uh, <laughs> lived the, the bowl of uh, Minos. The hybrid was conceived when the tyrant's wife, a once uh, sacred nymph, was stricken by a, fate, a lustful curse, making her take the bull's lurch. The result was the monster called Asteron. Ast Asteron? Yes, yes. That that's that's how everyone. <laughs> I, I had got uh, some coaching lessons in the Pervader stream. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Having no place in nature to uh, take the consuming human flesh. Wait, what I what I just read? Having no place in nature, uh, he took to consuming human flesh. Okay. He lived in the labyrinth, feeding off of Athenians. But, but, but among the sacrifices came a distinguished hero, Theseus, future king. The bright-eyed Athenian captivate, yeah, captivated the uh, passions of Princess Ar Ar Ariad Ariadne? Ariadne? Guiding Ariadne? That's a pretty good card. In Yu-Gi-Oh! You ever just, like... Do you remember the days of, like, Pendulum Summoning, Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, along with, like, a Guiding Ariadne, and you have a Guiding, a guiding Ariadne in your Pendulum Zone, and you pop them both in order to search two copies of Solemn Strike, and you make, like, Abyss Dweller, and I forget what else you made... With a couple other th I, I I forget all the plays that you used to make. But you would have, like, some nice interruption, and then you would set two strikes and watch your opponent fucking cry. Because it was, like, the days of pre-Ash Blossom. And there was no evenly matched. And just, mm, just, mwah. <laughs> Love that deck. But it's it's unplayable today. Later, the, um... <laughs> the victorious prince's uh, bronze sword shone splendid, splendidly up <clears throat> under the sun as uh, he and the uh, princess sailed away from Crete to no Noxo Noxos? Prologue. The deed. Okay. Did they just put like a hotel on Creed? Crete? That'd be funny. Uh, you don't, uh... Oh, the buttons are up here. Interesting. Okay, R Rodo. 
Seibu log. Okay. And you don't remember much about that night. Your travels uh, had taken you far from home. You were halfway dead after all of the nights tossing and turning under unfamiliar ceilings. It was 3 a.m., and it felt as if you hadn't slept in a proper bed for at least two nights. You were pulling all of the spirits you had left you put, uh, left to keep you going, grinding your mind to dust. But it would soon be over. You were so close to the, uh, the you were so close to home. Uh, just one more bus ride, one long enough for a, a good night's a good night's sleep. Until then, however, you had to keep yourself awake. You got up and set out to explore the station. Station? Okay, so are we in, like, a train station? This is what this kind of reminds me of. The whole place was a sorry sight. I didn't have much, and what little I had was poorly maintained. The bathroom was an atrocious mess. The lobby's floor was stained with age. The asphalt on the uh, terminals were cracking. Even so, it had been built to last, decorated with brutal... Obsidian. That's what that word is. Yeah. That game developer that doesn't make... Do they still make games? Did they do Pillars of Eternity? I didn't play that game. They did, like, New Vegas, though, right? Is that correct? Yeah, pillars cut uh, cut right out of uh, out of the uh, earth itself, and marble tiles polished into the labyrinthian patterns. Oh my! Oh, I hope that didn't get caught on the mic. Oh my god! I like moved my leg, and that popped my knee. Oh Jesus! Oh my god! That's okay. Uh, I was standing a lot earlier, so I guess my legs are. Okay. The walls were lined with statues in a grotesque... Gr gr grotesque? Okay, style. Uh, their exaggerated expressions locked in wide-eyed screams. The ceiling was covered with latticed reproductions of painting. Yeah, latticed? Latticed. Okay, reproductions of paintings, Michelangelo, Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam, and a bit up ahead, Picasso's That Word. The lob Look, I, I probably know what these paint- I know what this painting is, but I, I probably know what this is, and I just don't remember off the top of my head, because art history class was a really long time ago. So <laughs> the lobby seemed to extend further onwards, lined on either side by rows of closed- close down stores, the elevator music playing for, uh, from some unseen speaker was enough uh, of a distraction to keep you going. A sudden cracking of static broke the song. You had found your way into a cafe, populated solely by an old radio and an even older gentleman. Oh my god, it's a human! <laughs> Wait, wait, is this, <laughs> is, is this the first human to be in a VN on this channel? Like, I know you play as humans in, like, um, uh, in Limits and, like, and, in, 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 in Adastra, which isn't on the channel yet. Um, maybe someday, guys, maybe someday. But, like, is this, is this the first, like, human character portrait on the channel i don't know but that excites me if it is because that's just really funny because look at this man look at this chin that's amazing uh, his skin was paper thin he held a cup of coffee and every time he slipped from his uh it slipped from uh, he sipped not slipped uh sipped from it uh his <laughs> uh from his shaking hands would spill half the contents oh jesus the old man's gaze, glazed gaze passed over you for a few dozen times before he realizes you were there. As he looked at you, he patted the stool beside him and shook his hand in your direction. He poured a cup for you. You sit, hunched over the counter, and take a sip. A breeze of life 
poured over your face. You can't even register what it tastes like. You just know right then and there that you are alive and wide awake. You look at your side to the old man. His face is contorted into some form of distress, lips quivering at his eyes darting to, to and fro. He puts a hand over each of his pockets, face uh, still locked in fear, until his right hand falls over his breast pocket. He breathes a sigh of relief and looks at you. He starts talk. Oh, he grows. Uh, <laughs> uh, but not in a language you understand. He's not even looking at you. His gaze wanders around while, uh, with seemingly no goal, but eventually he finds a thread you can follow. You like a traveler type. You remind me of... He hesitates, gl uh, glances around, mulls over his words. Yes, you remind me of myself in my younger days. He looks ahead and sips his... Uh, and takes a sip of his drink. You catch a glimmer in his eye, a sudden wakefulness. I was a fool. Never settled down and squandered my one chance at a proper life. Felt the road would always take me in. Ended up throwing away the one place I could call home. It's been rotting from, uh, rotting from who knows how long, and now I'm old. I always wondered if someone would ever take care of, uh, take over and treat it right. Now, you do uh, remind me of myself, and I wasn't a good man. Hopefully, you don't have the see have the mean streak I had. Mm. I'm figuring things out. Wouldn't say I'm a great person or anything, but I suppose I'm finding my way. Is that so? I suppose that's uh, as good as it gets. At least nowadays you can try. Uh, back in my day, your father treated me like dirt, and no one batted an eye. I saw that happen to happen a lot, too. I wasn't the only one. It made the beasts out of my siblings and I, having a father like that. But you don't. But don't you think I'm blaming him. You can only point the finger at your dad for so long. At least eventually I found a way to make a living. How about you, young man? Have you found a calling? Oh, um, um, I, <laughs> okay, I, okay, I should probably read all these. Uh, humanities, you are better at creating contracts and uh, get an additional option from, from, what? Okay, uh, you are also good at holding bur bur B b b b bureaucratic situations. I just enjoy... Uh, I enjoy the social and human sciences. Interesting. Leader, you are charismatic and a good mediator in conflict. That's me! Uh, you are able to make <laughs> some, uh, some choices that are fixed for other backgrounds. Interesting. Uh... You have vast knowledge of literature, arts, and architecture. You can make our renovations to the hotel that bring in additional guests. You are knowledgeable about computer systems, program, and engineering. You can lead an additional. Uh, you can lend additional help to the R and D project. <laughs> you are um, analytical and thorough. Is that what that says? Th thorough? Oh no. I have, uh, uh, you have access to additional information that leads to better team management and optimization. You got additional loot from exploration and may may turn to a uh, danger danger event to your may turn a danger event to your advantage. Uh, good for second playthroughs. What? Good for second playthroughs. So this is the gamer one. I think some of you have talked to me about this. I've, like, mentioned this in, like, comments and on streams. That there's a gamer option. A pro gamer, you know? Um, I've never been good at math. 
that's just not me. I I literally shake a stick at my computer and hope that it works. Uh, I'm surprised this channel is as far as it is with, <laughs> with how much I don't understand computers. I legitimately enjoy sociology, but I, I don't know. I am, am I charismatic? No, right? Like I'm not charismatic and I'm not a good mediator. I instead make conflict. Like I'll see things happening and I'm like, <laughs> so, so sorry for the story time folks, but like it was, this happened literally earlier today. So I was at like a card shop, right? And I was talking to one of the, uh, to the workers. Cause you know, we like the chat and it's fun. And he was just like, Josh, some guy has called like 10 times today asking me the same question about Resident Evil Zero and if we own it and what like systems we have it for. And he like, he just he kept stressing and getting really upset about like, <laughs> uh, about that. And I was like, oh man, that's, that's so, that's, that sucks. Like that's, that's really stupid, right? Uh, and then like an, an hour went by and I, and I looked and the store was no longer busy. So he was just like sitting by like the computer doing like some, some more regular work and stuff, like not like attending to the store. And so I take out my phone and call the store. <laughs> and when he answers it, I'm just like, hi, do you have any copies of Resident Evil Zero? And he just like, hangs up and I look in his direction and he's just staring angrily at me and it was really funny <laughs> we had a good laugh about it but he was like in the moment he was like he said he was internally screaming <laughs> like... <laughs> uh I have an art degree I think I I that's what I studied let's do that one a man of culture, yes. Yes, that's me. A man of culture. See, guys? See, guys? I'm a man of culture. <laughs> now that's a uh, very scarce these days. Those, I, now that's very scarce those days. Okay. The man rumbles in the same language from before. Sometimes he'll stop and stare at you, as if expecting a response. A nod or a grunt is enough to get him going again. His voice becomes graver and deeper as the night goes on. It is soothing, in a way, even if at times he'll, again, allow to, um... <clears throat> allow? Allude? Allude! <laughs> to having a rough and sorrowful past. Eventually, he stops in his, uh... And gaze seems to shine with lucidity once more. I must say, I am terribly sorry. I'm afraid I never asked for your name. Uh, do I just hit enter? Oh, okay. Um, I thought you played as a stray, a stray, a steron. Asteron? I guess I'll... Um... Okay. I'm glad I met you, Mr. Josh. The man's eyes become glazed again, and his hands start shaking. Coffee spills everywhere, but it's gone cold already. You seem like a well-traveled man. Oh, traveling when I was young was so difficult. Now you can uh, be on the other side of the globe in a day or two. Oh, how the world has changed. There has this, uh, there was this one time I talked to my brother just about this topic. Back home, uh, there was this vineyard. No, excuse me. Uh, where we spent so many summers. Eating and drinking, I remember it so well. It's like a moving picture. And you know what he told me. That when we were young, there was so much wonder and magic around us. It's true. 
We could walk down the road, a stony little thing from Roman times, and when we were, when we were, uh, when we're children, uh, once or twice every week, we'd see ghosts rising from car, car and and uh, crosses to mingle about. But things have changed so much. I think it's the technology. Spirits and the arcane don't mix well. Or maybe it's something in the eyes. My brother, he used to say he's uh, it's because mankind lacks a uh, pi piety, piety. Uh, nowadays, uh, the unknown is I don't know what piety means. I don't what 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 is this word? Piety. Piety. Okay. Uh, the quality of being religious or relevant. Wait. Yeah. Re reverent. Reverent. Okay. A belief or point of view that accepted with... That is accepted with unthinking con con conventional uh, reverence. Okay. Okay. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Not really, though. The un is, uh, not a, not as, a uh, frightful either. So much mystery has been lost. And so the bridge with the, uh, fantastical broke, uh, broke down. The old man freezes for a moment, then looks back at you. Oh, I was rambling again. Uh, was I? I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's interesting to hear. Why does this still say you? Uh, I've seen something supernatural. I've seen something supernatural too. Science explains a lot. <sighs> I've seen a number of seemingly unexpected things. Anyone who travels as much as I did when uh, will stumble on too many to count, really. But I'm good at keeping my cool and paying attention. Too often, these unexplainable phenomenon are quite mundane in origin. I'm not saying there are people, there are, there are people on costumes making hoaxes. Well, actually, yes, there are, there are, or making uh, deep fakes and posting them online. But too often, there are perfectly serviceable explanations everywhere. You just have to pay attention and unravel the thread. Unravel a thread, eh? Now that's quite sharp of you. I may believe in ghosts, I do. But I see the wisdom in your words. Don't let yourself be tricked. You really, uh, seem some... Uh, you really seem something special, I'd say. Hmm. Perhaps you will do. Here. I'd like you to have this. I'm sure you'll, uh, take better care of it than I did. The man holds a piece of paper, an old piece of paper, from his uh, breast pocket and extends it to you. The deed for the place I told you about. The one I squandered. I'm tired. Old. I wouldn't lay. I would like someone to have it. I've been looking for an heir for a, for a while now. And I don't quite feel like I have any more time to waste. Just take it. It's yours. A grandiose place, a hotel. Uh, time's taken a toll, but you will love it. Just please take care of it. Be good. Give him a purpose. You rise an eyebrow at him. Did the old man try to give you a hotel just like that? Now who would do that? His wandering gaze betrays his sen... His, uh, sen... Sen... Uh, uh, S E N I L I T Y. Senility. 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 Huh. Senility. Uh, the condition of being senile. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ah. 
no. Uh, at times, uh, he seems outright confused, as if he didn't know how he got here in the first place. You can't take it. You can't take it. It wouldn't be right to take advantage of someone like this. And that's assuming that piece of paper is a deed. It might just be a used napkin with a nice seal. The old man's gaze wanders around. With his hand still extended, he squints his eye at you, then looks down at the paper. He struggles to put it in thought, to put his thoughts together, before a brief moment his expression grows firm and lucid. You must think I'm crazy, but please understand, this is my last chance to do it right. Just take the deed. You give it, you give in to the old man's plea. You're just accepting a piece of paper, after all. It's probably nothing, and if it indeed is something important, you can try to return it. You obtain the old D. To check your items, open the menu and go to this me What? What? Where? Oh, what the fuck? What? What is all this? What? What? <laughs> I'm I'm not used to things like this being in like a VN. What is this a point and click adventure? Uh, an old deed given to you by an old man. Despite its age, the wax seal is recent. What's this? Oh, okay. The old piece of parchment looks unimaginably ancient, older than you, that's for sure. But the wax seal is uh, wax seal on it seems reasonably new, perhaps even fresh. You break open the seal to examine the paper's contents. It's gibberish, written in an alphabet you've never seen before. Well, it would seem like this uh, was all for nothing. You stick the deed in your jacket pocket. You look back at the old man, the corner of his mouth wrinkle, and he uh, shakes ever so slightly. But his joy is short-lived. His gaze wanders again, once again. When his focus returns to you, his, um, he furrows his brow, and taking in each of your features one at a time. The old man mumbles something to himself, takes a sip of his coffee, and smiles. You are a very kind young man, Mr. Josh. He does remember your name, at least. You check your wristwatch, and the numbers, the numbers too, have uh, turned to gibberish. You take it to, you take it. You've spent too much time here. You collect your luggage, say farewell to the old man, and thank him for the wonderful coffee. He subtly uh, bows to you. No, Mr. Josh, it is I who who ought to be grateful. It was in, it was a pleasure dealing with you. You leave the cafe and make your way to the bus terminal. Ter terminal. The station is deserted, save for a single man smoking a cigarette outside the cafe. You greet him with a nod and he responds in kind. Aside from the old man, he is the only person you find, but maybe that ought to be expected at this time of night. You make your way through the empty station. There's no one uh, to greet you at the boarding platform. The bus is so dark, you can barely make out the uh, driver's silhouette. As soon as you sit down and recline, you try to um, process the night's events, but your thoughts skitter away. It's so hard to say for sure exactly how long you've been traveling. All the airports, truck stops, train stations, and ports mixed together. The relentless and unending travel to the uh, on is only the wait. The relentless of unending travel is the only constant. It doesn't take long for you to give up. To give up, a merciful uh, warmth seeps from your chest as you fall asleep. Hmm. Uh, I know that that's probably a bit short for an episode, but I think that's probably a good place to cut it for the, um, for this. I'll, uh, I'll see you around, everyone. <laughs>